All right. I'm ready to start. If you would mute your microphone so we don't get feedback. And I'm um, that's not there we go. Okay, here's what I'm going to discuss today. Uh, I'm getting some feedback and I'm not sure why. Somebody's mic must be open. Anyway, here's what I'm going to discuss. I'm going to talk about RSS and what it is. Uh, Evernote, what it is. I'm going to talk about my platforms, uh, Windows Desktop, uh, Windows 8.1 and 10, iOS, iPad and iPhone, and Android, which is a Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, I'm going to talk about using Feedly, I'm going to talk about using Evernote, and I'm going to be talking about using them as a team. Okay, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Uh, I, I've seen other definitions of it, but that's in essence what it is. And it's a, a way you can get content from the websites and from blogs uh, and have it updated on a regular basis. Now, in the old days of the web, in order to keep track of updates on a website, you had to bookmark websites in your browser, manually return to them on a regular basis to see what's been added. The problem with doing that is you had to do all the work. It got quite complicated, and if you missed any information, uh, you had to go back and, and check it again, and a lot of times you saw the same information over and over again as you went back to the sites each time. Now, RSS kind of flips that around a little and is a technology that provides you with a method of getting relevant and up-to-date information sent to you. Uh, many people uh, describe RSS as newsfeed that you subscribe to. Instead of you going to it, it comes to you. Uh, how to read an RSS feed. Uh, these are links. Uh, you can get an RSS feeder. I happen to use Feedly. There are several of them out there. Uh, Feedly became popular when uh, Google uh, stopped using their G Reader, which was uh, uh, probably the most widely used uh, RSS feed reader uh, prior to that. Uh, Feedly kind of took it over, and but there are other ones out there, feed, and I'm going to talk about Feedly and cost and, and so on. But you can also use Gmail as an RSS feeder, uh, as a reader, and there's a link to it. You can use Outlook as a reader. And you can even use the Windows Live Mail as a reader. And those are links to get to them. These slides will be available probably by tomorrow. So if you didn't get these links down, uh, you'll be able to get them then. Uh, Feedly. It's a single place to easily read all the news you rely on to think, to learn, to keep ahead. Uh, publications, blogs, YouTube channels, alerts, collections, private business content, all can be uh, accessed and, and get information from uh, and feed it to Feedly. So you can use Feedly in your favorite browser, you, uh, if, whether it be Firefox, IE, uh, Microsoft Edge, Chrome, or any others. Uh, there's also <clears throat> a free iOS app. There's a free Android app and a free Kindle app for Feedly. Oh, Feedly is the basic Feedly is free. That's unlimited feeds, mobile and desktop. Organize them uh, into easy read collections, and I'm going to show you some screenshots of it. And uh, you can share to Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. Now, if you want the pro version, it's uh, about sixty-five dollars a year. It's uh, most people don't need it. I did it because it made it easier from my iOS and from my Android to be able to save it to Evernote. But uh, to begin with, I, I don't even uh, suggest that you get the paid version. Stay with the free till you learn how to use it. If you're on a team, they do have a team uh, that's billed uh, $145 a year. Probably none of you would uh, be utilizing that, but uh, it's you should know that it exists. Okay, I do want to uh, make a point. I did this presentation at the recent APCUG conference. And someone complained that they wanted to learn more about Evernote and expected it to be a tutorial for Evernote. It is not. Uh, I do have a thorough uh, uh, explanation of Evernote on YouTube from a previous conference. And uh, uh, you can go there, and it's on, on the uh, APCUG, Evernote, uh, on the APCUG videos on YouTube. 
and there is the ac uh, access to it, but you should be able to find it just by searching for Evernote at the APCUG uh, YouTube videos. Okay, what is Evernote? Evernote, software that allows a user to create a note, which can be a piece of uh, formatted text, a full web page, a web page ex uh, excerpt, a photograph, a voice memo, a hand ink, a handwritten ink note. Uh, notes can also have file attachments. Uh, they can be sorted into folders, tagged, annotated, edited, given comments, searched, and exported as part of a notebook. Uh, Evernote supports a large number of operating systems, including uh, OS X uh, for the Mac, iOS, Chrome, OS, Android, Microsoft Windows, uh, Windows Phone, BlackBerry, and the Web OS. It also offers a online synchronization and backup services. Uh, now, Evernote, it's free. And for most of you, the free version is more than enough. Uh, you can clip anywhere on the web. You can share and discuss in Evernote. And uh, you can sync across phones and computers. For $25 a year, there's a few extras. And for $50 a year, there's a few more. Uh, you do, for most people, you'll get enough upload uh, access to uh, take care of it in the free version. If you find you need more, then I would suggest trying the plus. And if you need uh, some of the extras, uh, then go with the premium. But uh, start out with free, and that should work fine. OK, here's what Feedly looks like when I log on to it. There's a lot of different ways you can view it, and I'm going to talk about that. You'll notice that I've circled some uh, uh, a couple of settings there, and that's all your, if you can't read all of the writing, that's not a big deal at this point. Uh, I, I want you to see where those settings are. The check mark means you can mark all as red, and of course the gear is, are the settings, and the settings are some of the things we'll talk about. The other thing that I want to, for you to notice, that notice I've got 7,524 unread articles when I uh, made this screenshot. This was about five days worth. So I'm getting uh, a, a thousand messages or, or a thousand articles a day to look at to see if I, and sometimes even more, uh, to see if, if it's on something of interest to me. So what you can do is you can choose a topic. And it's part of the arrangement of setting up uh, Feedly. And I've got it in various topics. And then those topics are in, in some subtopics. So right now we're in the tech area, and we're in one called beta news. And you'll see that I'm in the headline view, and it does show me the time since it was posted on that website. So I don't have to go to the website. Here's the headline. If it's something I'm interested in, then I can click on it and read most of it within Feedly. If I then want to, I can click on visit website and it will take me there. And I'll show you those screenshots here coming up. So here's that article. Now, this is within Feedly. You're seeing what the article looks like. As we scroll down, you can read the article. Not all of the article may be here, but a lot of times it is. But down at the bottom, it says visit website. Now, I go to the website if I am going to save that information for Evernote. And the reason why is that I want to make sure that I get all of the information and I can get it uh, uh, without, I, I also want the link to it. If I click on it here and add it to Evernote, the link is going to be to Feedly and not to the website. And that's not what I want. Uh, I'm a a purist that way. Okay, when I do go to the website, I get TMI, too much information. You can see that I, I've marked, marked out uh, with an X uh, information that I really don't want to save. I have no reason to save that. If I look at the whole page, now again, you can't read all of this. Don't worry about it. I want you to see what the page looks like. And again, it has too much information on it. I don't want all that information. So how can I uh, decide, that, uh, find information that I just want and just save that. Well, 
when I in installed Evernote, and uh, there is a plugin for Firefox. There's also one for Chrome, and it's somewhat limited in, in Internet Explorer, but I use Firefox as my main go-to browser for this kind of, of thing, so uh, I'm using it most of the time. So you'll notice that there is an Evernote button there, and if I click on that, I get a drop down and says, okay, what do you want to save? You want to save the article, a simplified article, a full page, a bookmark, or a screenshot? Well, in this case, I've, I've got it marked as article, but you'll see that it doesn't cover the whole article. Some of it, it's, it's, so it's, it's not going to give me all the information I really want. So what I do, what I do then, I, I can either click on full page and save the TMI, the too much information, or, uh, oh, and I can also uh, tell it how to organize it, which notebook I want it to go into, which, which grouping I want it to be under. However, I can also uh, use another Evernote plugin called Clearly. And Clearly works like this. I click on Clearly, and it actually strips out everything but the article and maybe some pictures, and then gives me a different menu with uh, the Evernote logo. I click on that, and it tells me automatically that it put it in my notebook. It didn't, it didn't attach it to a particular topic. It tries to figure out which one it should go into, but if it can't, it puts it in my default, which is Huey's notebook. Now, I can go back and click on edit. It then takes me out to the web, and I can change that, or I can just leave it and change it later. And then this is what it actually looks like. Now, this is Evernote. Now, we've switched from what Feedly was. Now, we're looking at it, that same article in Evernote. You'll see that in the center is the listing of uh, notes or articles that I've saved. On the left are all of the topics. On the right is the one that's highlighted, is the uh, note that's highlighted. And if I click on it, there is what I would see. And as I scroll down, I would see the rest of the article. But you'll also see that I can edit. I can do a lot of things to this. But I can also click on info, and it gives me a lot of information. It, number one, gives me the title of the article, what notebook it's in. And I can add some tags for searching. It tells me when it was created. Uh, it also gives me the URL of the original article. So I can always go back there if, for whatever reason, I want to uh, note it, I want to give somebody a link to it, or if I want to go back and look to see if there's been some updates or some comments about it. Now, under uh, notebooks, uh, I can see all of the different ones that I have, and I can decide which one I want to put it in. So if I wanted to change it from Huey's notebook to something else, I can do that. Uh, you can also search within Evernote. So if I wanted to search for the word calendar, you can see it highlighted in the current one immediately, and when I put in Google Calendar, now you're seeing it, and then in the center, you're seeing anything that's got Google Calendar in it. So uh, Evernote is very quick and very nice in order to do searches, but not only that, uh, I, I'll come back to some more of, of the searching, but let's go back to Feedly and, and some of the settings in Feedly. Remember I said that I was only showing you the titles of the various articles in Feedly. Well, you can also have it in magazine cards or full articles. So let's look at magazines. This is what the magazine view looks like. This is what cards look like. And then you can actually see the whole article. I prefer is title. I can browse a whole list, like here there's 1,415 deals. And I can either browse through them quickly or I can say, well, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to buy anything today anyway. I don't care what's on sale and so on. So what I want to do is I want to take all 1,500 of them and mark them as red. So I can click on that little check mark and just click on it and mark it as red. Or I can go scroll all the way to the bottom and also 
click mark as red and that will do the same thing. It marks them all as red. You'll notice that all those titles are in bold print. When they've been read, they will not they will no longer be in bold. And so if there's uh, and I have it set to only show ones that haven't been read. And so if I go back to it, they all disappear and there's a blank page there. So it would look like this. Uh, the next time I look, and if there's one new one, I will only see that one new one, and I won't see the rest of them. But all of those are unhighlighted because I've already marked them as red. Now, you can organize your topics in any way that you want. I've got some as tech, uh, some as security, some for some personal items, and so on. Uh, uh, so there's different ways that you can organize the various topics in Feedly. This is Feedly, don't forget. And you can pick a blog. Uh, you can, oh, this is to add a new one. So let's pick a blog. Let's, uh, let's add a new, some new content that I want to check on a regular basis to my Feedly. I want, when a new article is posted, I want to know it that day or that, the next time that I check Feedly. So let's pick apcug2.org, the APCUG website. And when I click on it, it gives me a list. It shows me all of the articles I had not seen because it wasn't in my Feedly. It still isn't. I have to click the plus Feedly. And then it will say, OK, what grouping do you want it to go under? And I said, well, let's put it under tech. And then I have to click the button add at the bottom. And bingo, it's now in my Feedly. It picked out uh, the, uh, the, the next 30 or the last 30 days. So there were four new articles in the 30 days. So it added them to my Feedly. Once I mark these as red, when anything new appears, it will then be under apcug2.org uh, within Feedly under tech. So as new articles come up in uh, our on the APCUG page, I'll be able to see that they were new, and I can go in and read them, do whatever I want with them. OK, let's go back to Evernote. I'm sorry I'm going back and forth, but you have to have an idea of, of how they work and how they work with each other. OK, remember I said that the, the search in Evernote is very good. Not only is it very good, it's excellent. And you don't have to do anything. And it searches a lot of things that you wouldn't expect it to. For instance, I'm going to type, I typed in the word mayor, and I said, okay, find the word mayor anywhere in any of my notes. And I have over seven, you can see there uh, in uh, parentheses next to the word notes, it says 7,132. When I did this screen capture, I had 7,132 notes. So let's see what happens when I click on mayor. Bingo. You'll see there's a whole listing there. In the top one, it's from a PDF from a website that's very, very hard to read. And yet the word mayor is somewhere in that article. And it's highlighted. If I zoomed in, if I go to that page and zoom in, or if I go to that article and zoom in, I would see it. But notice the one I do have highlighted is a picture. It even found the word mayor in a picture. So it's, and I didn't do anything extra. It just said, okay, in the picture, there's some a word, and that word is mayor, and that's what you're searching for. So therefore, I'll put it in uh, into your search results as well. And that's what the actual picture looked like. There was no text and no, nothing about it except the word within the picture, and it still found it. Very powerful search within Evernote. Now, I keep talking about Evernote. But Microsoft has a product called uh, OneNote. It works quite similar. I have not used it in many years. And so, and this isn't about uh, OneNote, but you don't have to use Evernote to do the kind, some of the things that I'm doing. You can save your information in OneNote. So besides using uh, any one of a lot of RSS feeds uh, programs and uh, collab uh, collectors, you can also use something similar to Evernote and use the Microsoft OneNote. And there may be other products out there, too. 
Okay, here's a clip from Facebook. Now, in Facebook, you can't clip things, at least I have found it difficult to clip things from the Facebook uh, applications on my iOS and on my tablet. And I don't use the Facebook application in Windows. I actually go through my browser and go. And it makes it much easier to clip. But I can clip from Facebook, save it uh, in Evernote, and it will, uh, I highlight everything, including the picture, and right mouse click. And because I've got the Evernote installed in my Windows, it gives me, when I right mouse click, I can click, I can clip the section, selection, a bookmark, a full page, and so on. And when it says clip, that means clip to Evernote. So I'm clipping the section, and bingo, it's right there in now in Evernote. And uh, again, going back to the info and the information, this is all editable, by the way. So I can change, I can change what the title is. I can add information. I can change the notebook I, that it's saving it in. I can add a location. I can add the author. And you see that I had just synced it about 53 seconds earlier than that. Now, Let's take a look at Feedly and Evernote and how they work on several platforms, including iOS, uh, Android, and Windows. Well, we've been watching, we've been seeing a lot of the Windows ones. And here's what it looks like in Windows 10 and 8.1. There is something called Evernote Touch. Now, on my Windows 10 on my main desktop computer and on my laptop, I'm able to use the Evernote uh, program that you download. No problem at all, but I have a, a Microsoft Surface, and what I found was I couldn't get it to sync. I will say that Evernote's uh, tech support has been wonderful trying to make it work. They've had their programmers go in and try to make changes, sent me the changes and test them. I still couldn't make it work, but it's working in the Evernote Touch, which is the Windows app that you can download through the Windows Store for free. And so I installed it. So it's working on my Surface, and I can use it in either one on my desktop. So uh, there's Evernote, the application, and Evernote Touch, the Windows 10 and 8 application. Here's what Evernote Touch looks like. It looks a little bit different, but you can see the articles are the same. And as I go here, here's the article, and there's that Google Calendar article again. And if I click on it, uh, let's see, let's go, let's go back here for a second. You can see it, it it's there, and there's the core, the uh, buying a laptop article. So the articles are the same. It all syncs in the sky, and you have access to all of your notes, no matter which one of your versions of Evernote and which platform you're on, they all sync and you get all of the same articles. Now, you can click even an email article uh, from a website. Uh, I'm sorry, you can click to email it. You get an, Evernote gives you an email address, and I don't have it posted here, it says Evernote Huey, but there's actually a longer address uh, and it automatically sends whatever I've got in that email and makes a note out of it. I wouldn't post it here because then anybody can send anything they want to my Evernote, and I certainly wouldn't want that to happen. But it makes it a nice way that when you're on a website and you've got no other way to do anything with it, if you can email that information or just the link to it, you can go back later and then add it to uh, the full article. And here it is added to Evernote from that email. So it's, it's a very, very nice way to do it and very easy way to do it. On my iP uh, iPad and iPhone, this is what the Evernote app looks like. It looks just like the one on Windows. And you'll see there's the Google Calendar uh, article or note that I saved and the one with the Intel uh, logos, 
and buying a laptop, that article is there. It, it's all the same articles. It's all the same information. And this is what it looks like on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, this is what it looks like on my Android, on my Nexus 7, which is a tablet. I don't have an Android phone, but I do have an Android tablet. And this is an app. And again, you'll see there you see the Google Calendar and you see the buying laptop article just as it did in the other. You can if I add it through here and it syncs, it then will show up on my Windows machine. It'll show up on my iOS machine as well. Now it is stored in the sky, so you most of the time need to be connected in order to get those articles. That's the one uh, problem with it. Now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons here in a minute. Uh, but there are some ways in the Windows version, or, or and I think in the iOS and probably in all of them, you can download some of the notes as well, and so you can look at them on a trip, for instance. Okay, and this is what Feedly on the Nexus 7 uh, Android looks like. And Feedly on the Android, you can uh, find an article, and then you can just click and then add it to Evernote. Okay, the pros of what I do. It makes keeping up with tech news easy. It makes keeping up with tech news fast. It makes storing the articles convenient. It makes finding stored information easy to find. Evernote gives an email address, as I mentioned, to send items directly to my notes. Evernote allows creating a new note directly, including checklists. You can put some items in your Evernote and tell it to be a checklist, and all of a sudden you've got boxes that can be checked, copy and pasted into Word, and you're done, or into an email, and you're done. Uh, and then Outlook emails can also be saved directly to Evernote. Some cons, I have to view the headline in Feedly, then open the article in my browser. <coughs> uh, and, and that's a couple of extra steps, but it still works. Not all websites work the same, so depending upon when I'm at that website, whether I'm going to be able to use the Evernote directly or I've got to use Clearly in order to get the information that I want. Uh, sometimes I have to highlight it and then save it as and paste, uh, create a new note and paste it because the website isn't cooperating. It's it's a function of the website. It's not really a a, a, a really a problem with with either Feedly or with uh, Evernote, but uh, not everybody creates their websites the same. It's also more difficult using phones and tablets uh, to get just the article. What you end up getting a lot of times is the whole page. Uh, not a problem. A lot of times, what I do is is uh, I'll go through maybe the last ten or twenty articles that I, I've gathered, especially if I did a bunch of them from iOS or from the Android, and I'll then redo them, go to the website, because the link is already there, I'll go to the website, get exactly what I want, delete the one that I, I added through the iPhone or the tablet. It, auto, uh, it also, automatically choosing the correct notebook is not always accurate, but I don't really pay much attention to that uh, for most of the things anyway, but it does sometimes make it easier when I'm uh, going through my articles for the month for my Windows SIG, I'd like them all to be labeled as Windows SIG, so all I have to do is look at them. But I just go back to the beginning of the month from the last time I did it, and then go through and look at all of the articles, pick out, pick and choose the ones that I might want to use for my uh, special interest group, and, uh, and then use those. Uh, I copy and paste the links, I look at the articles, I pick out the information from them I want to use, and I've got my information to be able to use in, for my presentation each month. Uh, and I also must be connected to the internet to read saved files and articles in Evernote. Uh, that's mostly true. There are some ways in which you can download some, you can offload them, but it's not easy and you got to remember to do it, and because I'm updating so often, uh, it really doesn't make sense for me to do a lot of uh, of that. So, but I'm connected to the internet almost everywhere. It's my iOS and uh, my iPads, my iPhone, and my uh, not my tablet, but, but my Surface and 
and of course my uh, desktop are always connected to the internet either through uh, AT&T is my service provider or through Wi-Fi or connected to the cable okay in summary I know I've gone through this quite fast, but I wanted to leave some time for questions. But I think you're going to have some. Uh, I'm able to read several days of articles, thousands in other words, in just an hour or two, sometimes less. Depends upon how many articles uh, I have found and how many are of, of interest. If I find more of interest, of course, it takes me longer to get through them. But I can save them easily and I can save them quickly. And I can locate the saved articles from any of my devices or on any browser. And thus, I'm organized. Questions? David or whoever, do we have some questions? Hey, I'm, I'm ready to go. You, you, you went to questions before I get there. How are you? Can you hear me okay now? I hear you fine. Okay, we got rid of the feedback problem. Uh, I have two questions. And um, and since you just sort of answered one, uh, and I think maybe you can explain this. The question said, are all Evernote stored on your computer? And if so, can you export them to any other articles between the computers? So I think maybe you want to maybe elaborate a little bit on how Evernote shares the files between computers. Right. It's all done with syncing, and it's all done in the cloud. In fact, you don't have a copy of the articles. You will see the headlines on your computer if you're not connected, but you will not see the articles. Uh, you may see a couple if they're left in cache, but for the most part, the, you have to go to the web. And what you do is if you have two computers, you sign in with your same sign in on the second computer, tell it to sync, and it will, it will then sync all of the headlines and the links to all of them, and you'll have all that information. If you do it often, it doesn't take long. If you only do it once a month on your laptop, for instance, it may take longer to download them all. But it's if if you if you got a good connection, it doesn't take long at all. Uh, and it's the information is there, and so the exact same information that by doing it this way, the exact same information is on all of your devices that have Evernote, or simply going in with your uh, browser and going to Evernote. You can log into your account and read them, so you don't even need to, uh, to, to do it any other way. You can do it directly. Uh, so you can either do it through an app on your desktop. That would be Evernote Touch. And then, of course, on the iOS. But you can also do it, uh, and, and that's how I do it for the most part, is through my browser uh, uh, or, or the program itself. So you can do it either way. Uh, the the app works much better, much faster. Okay. Just want to let you know that if you think of a question after Huey leaves, you can you have his contact information on the screen to eat to email him a question, or you can put it in chat later on. As long as we're running in chat, uh, the questions will be taken out. The only last question I have is uh, from Paula. Uh, she didn't, I don't know where she's from, so I can't really get real fancy with Paula from downtown somewhere, is asking, are you showing Evernote's paid version? Was her question, and I think maybe you can elaborate on the difference between the free and the paid version. Yeah, I am, but the only difference really is is the uh, the amount, and I, and I can't remember exactly what it is, not the the amount of data that you upload, it's the number of notes that you upload. There is a limit to it in the free version. And the, uh, the synchronization between Feedly and Evernote seems to work a little bit better with the paid version. But you should be able to do almost everything that I did without any problem in the free version, and it will look the same. OK. And I want to apologize to Marty because I appeared to overlook his question. Um, and let me get back over here. Marty wants to know, what are the top three sources, your opinion, for technical info? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I didn't say to be easy. <laughs> uh, other people, user groups. <laughs> uh, no, actually, the... 
I can put together a list of some of the ones that that I look at, and I think that's what he wants. What are the, some of the ones that I have in my uh, uh, Evernote? Uh, Info World is one. Uh, just. I'm, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Info World. Uh, I like uh, MakeUseOf.com is another. Oh, uh, I'm. Let me let me go back. I can see them in one of the. Sorry about this. This. I want to find the right slide where I can see what I've got here. Uh, da, da, da. Come on. There we go. Um, okay, come on. I didn't put them down. Themes, organizer, let's see. Paul Therott's super uh, website. Paul Therott's website for Windows stuff. Um, make use of, as I mentioned. Uh, okay. What we can do, yeah. Huey, is you can compile a list and yeah. of your top maybe three or five or so and we can put that on the uh website along with your this presentation so yeah I, your, your top feedly sites for gathering information yeah i've got like a hundred there's 180 of them that i check but some of them are local you know local like uh, i i'm in bradenton florida and so i monitor both the uh, sarasota and bradenton newspapers uh and so any articles they post but for technical stuff, uh, uh, there's several out there. And any ones that you like, that's what's nice about it. You can add your own. So uh, uh, as you see articles, and a lot of times what I do is as I check on Facebook, I'll find a website that's, that's posted something or somebody's reposted it. And I say, well, you know, that looks like an interesting article. And I go to that article. And then I look around that site and I say, well, they've got a lot of interesting news here. And it looks like it might be accurate. You've got to be very careful. A lot of those aren't. Uh, they may be news sites. They may be news sites that you have no idea where they're getting their information from. So do be careful there. Okay. Are there any other questions? Um, now, did I miss somebody? I, th that's the saw some that I copied into it, and I may have been distracted. And we do want to thank Paula. We did find out Paula is from the Los Angeles uh, Computer Society. Paula, thank you very much. I was trying to be funny. I don't know who it always says we have a question from you know, from somewhere. So I'm trying to put on my moderator voice here. Um, and again, we're doing this. We got another presentation coming up at the top of the hour. Um, so if we don't have any more questions, we'll turn Huey loose, and you can still post your questions in chat. The, yeah, the nice thing, again, about Evernote, and you can see it here, is the search is so, so nice. And, and the other advantage is you can, when you normally find something on the web, you'll save it, you'll print it, You'll, where'd you save it? Well, you saved it in documents. The next time you save it in downloads, the next time you saved it here, you saved it there, you saved it on one machine, then you saved it on another machine. Which one did I save it on? <coughs> Excuse me, which one did I see it on? Whatever article I find, if I say, you know, that's something I'm, I'm going to mention to somebody sometime, and I'm going to say, I saw it in an article, and I can't remember where the article was. I grab it, put it in Evernote. I can always search for that keyword, and I found some things that I saved uh, a couple of years ago that uh, I don't even remember saving, but by doing a search with a keyword, I found that information, found the, uh, so whenever somebody has a problem and I've saved uh, and I find an article on how to do it, especially for Windows 10, whenever I see something on how to do a particular thing, I grab that article and I save it in Evernote. I can, it doesn't cost me any more to save it. There's no limit on how much you can save. If the free version does limit how much per month that you can save, but there's no limit on the total. So if you save for many, many months, you can have a lot of articles. Uh, and as I said, I've got, I think I'm over 7,500, and I put this together... Uh, uh, just a, a month or two ago, a couple of months ago, and the screen captures, and uh, I've added uh, five 
five six hundred notes since then. Okay. Here and I say I save a lot of personal stuff as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, as I said, we did note that Huey did put the link to his um, Evernote presentation up earlier in the slide, but we've had a couple requests that since you tend to have a little extra time, if you could do a demonstration of Evernote in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, let's see how this works. We're going to do this on the fly, aren't we? i got to yes. stop sharing. because I'm. you got to stop sharing and then yeah. share your desktop and open up Evernote. Yeah, let me get uh, Evernote open first. Uh, okay, I'm not sharing, correct? No, you're not sharing now. you got to hit share screen when you get okay. there. All right, let me get Evernote up first. I have to be careful because I've got some personal stuff in here too. But uh, Okay, I've got Evernote up, so I want to come back over to Zoom. Share screen. Maybe you just want to bring up a, a website or something and show how you copy and paste it from there too. Okay, here's my Evernote. And... Uh, Am I sharing it? Yes. Okay. Um, can you see my mouse moving? We can see something moving up over the side over there. Yeah. Okay. You do see the mouse. So I can point to something and that I can use it as a pointer. Yes, I can see your mouse. Okay, good. All right. These are some of the topics uh, that I've got it listed in, but uh, we're looking at uh, Evernote and not Feedly, so uh, I'm not going to be able to answer that other question. Uh, but here's an article I just found, uh, let's see, on the, on the 5th, and I just added some new ones here today. Now you can see if you go up, up to the top, there's something I added today. What to watch for uh, as Windows 10 uh, fall update draws near. Found another one for what, which Windows operating system am I running and how to find it. And you'll notice as I move in the article, the links are there. So I could click on that, and it actually will open up a link in my browser to the link that's in the article. Uh, uh, to upgrade or not upgrade. So a lot of these were Windows 10 things that I found, but I also found a couple of interesting articles on how big the, uh, the Internet of Things is. Um, I, I, I'm doing some things with WordPress, so I'm saving a lot of information on WordPress. Uh, I also do a security uh, presentation, so I save my articles on security. Uh, and it's in there as I can look up, look down, and then I can also look at the uh, information for that article. And I can see that that came from NBC News. I can see that it it was I actually created the article on the 7th of uh, August and there's the headline and so on so it's right there for me to to go to the original article um, I don't know what else is there any questions on something I can show in Evernote uh, let's do a search uh, again I'm going to do the mayor and Let's see if we got the, we got different articles here. Okay, while we're talking about articles, Huey, sure. uh, John Whitmer wants to know, how often do you go back and clean out your saved articles that are no longer relevant or you don't need anymore? I don't. I don't because it doesn't, it, it's not really being saved on, on, on my hard drive, so it's not hard drive space. And I don't know what I might not want to keep and so I'm able to uh, uh, search and find anything. So if it's not relevant, it's not going to be in any of the searches. It's not really hindering me in any way. So I just go ahead and keep them. I, I don't clean it out. It's kind of like that drawer just keeps getting bigger and more full, but it's, it's never going to get so full you can't open it. And like some of these, as I said, was a... You can see how how poorly a uh, PDF that is, and yet it found the word mayor somewhere in it. And let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it's right here. So let's see if I can zoom in on that. Well, it opened it up on my desktop, but I think I only had the program 
open so you won't see it. But uh, it's it's actually highlighted here in yellow. And so within this poorly scanned newspaper, it's still finding a particular word. It's really a, a, a very thorough search. Any Was there any questions at all? Because we're just about done with the time now. David, did we lose you? Ah, I there just want to mute myself because of the, the muting button here. I don't want to. Um, are there any other questions? No, you got a lot of good kudos, and everybody enjoyed the presentation. A lot of thank you, Hueys. Uh, but I think I got the question. Did I miss anybody's question? If not, John, are you ready to share your screen and to play the video? I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Thank you, everybody. I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions, certainly holler at me, uh, either about Feedly or about uh, uh, Evernote and how I use them or just any questions at all. If I can help, let me know. And hope